Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here with my little secondary half here, Diesel. He's a cute shorty bull, but he's my pride and joy. Uh, but with that, I kind of kind of wanted to make a more personal video. I know this is a little bit different from my norm, uh, but I wanted to open up to you guys and kind of tell you a little bit what's happening on my channel at YouTube. Because in all honesty, there are multiple attacks being ignited against my channel. And I'm talking about um, from Facebook, from Twitter, from Google, from YouTube. And a lot of the times, you know, I, I, I don't speak about it all the time and you guys aren't in the front and center to know exactly what's going on. So I guess my objective here is to explain this is how I'm being center, censored and this is what they're doing to me personally. And keep in mind, if these things are happening to me, they're also happening to other channels. Some of your favorites, like Mark Dice and Natural News and Infowars, some of those have even been eliminated from YouTube altogether. Uh, so with that, Let's start here. Um, a couple of years, or I started YouTube in 2014, and when I started creating videos, my channel basically took off. I would get over 100,000 subscribers some odd a year. As soon as 2016 came around, it's like the censorship went ablaze. As soon as President Trump started getting in, everything started getting shut down. And it was kind of this slow boil process uh, of taking out uh, political, those who are slightly right, I'm talking about conservatives, Christians, patriots, Trump supporters, they slowly start attacking us and weeding us out. And that's what they've done on my channel. And some examples of that on Facebook, uh, over the years I've been on Facebook, I've managed to acquire over 27,000 some odd followers. Now, suddenly 2016 hit and that number magically stops. I'm talking about it doesn't go beyond 27,000 ever. And it used to grow thousands a month. And then mysteriously one day, it's just like it hit the pause button. Well, that was the first censorship that I experienced. Uh, fast forward to YouTube and Twitter. Well, on YouTube, uh, same thing happened there. I signed up and started creating videos in 2014 and I would get 100 some odd thousand subscribers on a yearly basis. Now, it's hard to even get 10 to 15 to 20,000 subscribers on a yearly basis, considering the massive amount of censorship. And here's the ways that they're doing it. But before I get into the ways that they're doing it, I wanna ask you first, if you would subscribe to my channel, uh, I mean my website on lisahaven.news. If you go there, I have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, just plug in your email. I don't sell any of the information, but this is a way that I can keep in touch with you to avoid some of the censorship tactics that I'm experiencing experiencing here on YouTube. Uh, but please do that. And in addition, if you have a YouTube channel or if you don't have a YouTube, get on YouTube and subscribe to all the channels that you know and love. Uh, because one day they could be gone, but in the meantime, you're never gonna get those channels recommended to you. You have to physically go and find them and subscribe to them. Uh, so I wanna encourage you to do that also. And check your notifications and see if you are still getting notified and if you're still subscribed to my channel, because as I've said before, they are taking subscriptions away, basically on a daily basis. Every time, now here's, here's what they're doing. Every time I post a video, for example, and I've never seen this in years, this is the first year that I've actually experienced it, but every time I post a video, it like it, it, it sets off something on YouTube to say, re-go through her channel, re-go through her channel, and it's like they do daily wipes every time I post a video. If I could show you screenshots, you would see video posted, big drops of numbers, and then they start going up, big drops of numbers. Well, I've been in YouTube for many years. This has never happened. This is one thing that they're doing. So it sets off an alarm saying, go through her files, start deleting. Second thing that I've experienced is they've labeled my channel a conspiracy theorist channel along with Mark Dice, Natural News, Next News Network, all these channels. And considering they've done that, well, now they've given themselves permission to basically say, we're not putting your channel up anywhere. So as a result, my channel does not get recommended. It doesn't go in the recommended feed. It doesn't get uh, sent out or published or pushed anywhere. So in other words, the only way that you can come and find my channel is to go to Lisa Haven on YouTube directly. A fourth way, and most recently, just this past month, they've literally put my, if you go on Google, and I encourage you to try it out, and you plug in Lisa Haven YouTube, my backup channel is above my real channel. So they've got my, which only has 20,000 subscribers, right? So a channel with 20,000, 
far exceeds my one that has 400 some odd thousand subscriber plus. This is, uh, this is in a, it's not right. I mean, what they're doing is complete and utter censorship. So in other words, the only way that anyone new can find my channel is if they go directly to Lisa Haven or somebody has to tell them to go directly to Lisa Haven because you cannot find my name anywhere. Even if you were to plug in, take an exact title, this is a fifth way that they're doing it. If you took an exact title of my video, you plugged it into Google and you tried to find that, my video will not even come up not even come up. And so that's kind of what we're faced with. And the reason that I wanna bring this to your attention uh, is a couple of reasons. If something isn't done today to stop this and, and, and to stop what's going on, I'm talking about passing laws, passing legislation in Congress, sending letters to Google and YouTube, letting people know what's going on. If something isn't change, then you can guarantee with 99.9% .9 certainty that your freedom on the internet, your kids' freedom on the internet, and their kids' kids, they will not have it. It won't exist. And so this is something that terrifies me for my kids. I don't want my kids to live in an unfree generation. And if we truly and honestly continue on this path, that's exactly where we're headed. And we're already kind of there. Now, there are some holdouts and there is some hope that I have, but at the same aspect, it's terrifying because a lot of Americans out there, and I'm not talking about you out there who are listening because you guys are awake, uh, but a lot of people, a lot of our friends and family members are not. And they just sit down and watch the, the orchestrated mainstream media, whatever they're told to hear, they suck it in and listen and move on. You see, that's allowing, that's, that's propagandizing people. This is what happens. If I'm taken off and others are taken off and all your favorite YouTubers are removed, which one day, if we continue on this path, I'm going to disappear. My click count is going to shrink so bad that I won't be able to afford the ability to do this anymore on air. Uh, and not only that, but all the monetizations will go away. They're already going away in sections and portions. So if this path continues, all of us will be squeezed out. Nobody new will be in and your future path will be an assured path of propaganda and, and purposeful propaganda fed to you one and only by CNN, MSNBC, ABC, Fox News, and the mainstream media conglomerates. That's something that should terrify each and every single one of us. See, this is why I want to urge you to, you know, start supporting those channels that you love and, you know, take your support from ones that don't really mean much and, you know, move it around to things that you truly believe in. And I'm going to tell you something that I've personally done. I'm not suggesting that you do this, uh, but I, I have, it's, it's hard anymore. Sometimes I don't, I haven't been going to a set church per se. I do love God. I am a Christian. I do follow the Lord. But a lot of the churches today have become all about the building, all about bringing people to them and funneling more money into their church congregation. Now, that's not all of them. There's amazing churches out there like Paul Bagley. I love him. I love his church. He's a great pastor. But a lot of these churches, not all, but a lot of them, and uh, take all that money, use it for the inside, and then do nothing politically. They don't support political candidates. They don't back them. They don't stand against Bill. They don't even t tell their congregations about it. So the outside world looking at these churches doing that, we, they see that all, everybody from the outside, they see a church with people in the church and nothing happens outside of the church. Why? Because the church is silent. They remain silent on their 501c3s. They don't donate. They don't give. They don't change the, the, the surroundings. And that's part of the problem. And that's just one reason why I've been funneling that more to ACLJ, J Seculo, Center for Law and Justice there, uh, and you know, organizations that are actually making a difference, actually doing something to better our world. And it's unfortunate, but a lot of churches today, that's what they do. They, they only worry about that little building, that little area, rather than actually making a difference. So I wanted to just kind of bring all this to you I know I've rambled on a little bit and I, and I don't mean to, but I just wanted to tell you that because my channel is truly under attack. I mean, I want to cry sometimes. It stresses me out because uh, I have a heart to wake people up and I really do. And, and it's hard when you get all this pushback and push back and sometimes you feel like 
like there's nothing you can do and 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 like all of that but in the future i want to tell you hopefully within the next month or so i'm going to start a pay uh wall kind of like a subscription basis to my channel not on youtube i'm going to still do youtube that's going to still be the same way but in addition to youtube i'm going to st take steps to get off youtube in a way because of all the censorship and start my own thing in which i'll have a subscription so basically you would pay every month for this particular subscription not anything high or crazy but through that subscription you'll have access to censored videos videos that I'm not allowed to publish on YouTube or anything like that because there are a lot of things that I'd love to talk about and say that I can't even say here on YouTube so this other platform that I'm creating will give me the ability to talk to you directly and to get that so that's going to be coming up so I'll keep you in in, in the know on that uh, but make sure you subscribe to my website in order to keep up the information of that that that's where I'm gonna put it out at as well but that's on lisahaven.news uh, so make sure you subscribe there and again please make sure you subscribe to my channel and and share it uh, this needs to be shared on multiple platforms because as I said I get censored I can't share they, they take down my posts so truly the only way to get things out is through all of you and and I want to say thank you uh, for doing it so far your support and and uh, your comments have been utterly amazing and without you I wouldn't be anything I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be able to get the message out so just from the bottom of my heart I, I love each and every single one of you and if I could hug you I would and if you see me in public and you're out and about come say hi it's good to know that there's other people out there who are standing with you and wanting to fight the good fight with you so to speak so come say hi Anyhow, I love you all, and uh, thanks for letting me rant on. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.